In our last vlog, we'd built ourselves a roof rack out of 8020 extruded aluminium, onto which we mounted our solar panels and a small deck system. So we're back on the inside now, and we're looking forward to getting cracking. Back to work. Back to work. Hi guys, we're Van Life My Way. My name's Nikki. And I'm Paul. We're a husband and wife team who have had many adventures over the years, and now we're planning to take early retirement and make Van Life our next adventure. Coming from a background of equipping vehicles for overland and expedition travel, we hope you'll find our van build of interest as we create a van perhaps better suited to modern van life. So do come along on our journey as we build our mobile home whilst taking you on some mini adventures in our camper van, Rad the Silver Surfer. So how do you plan the interior of your van? Ooh, that's a I like that. That's so a how do you plan the interior of your van? So how do you plan the interior of your van? So how do you plan the interior of your van? Who's going to stop first? You did. Okay. Oh. I was really oh. Besides the usual home comforts, travelling with our mountain bikes is a priority. Our mountain bikes give us great additional mobility to travel beyond our van. So we're going to start the interior of our van build at the back of the van, building a raised bed on top of a garage. The size of which is not only determined by the size of me and Nikki and the bed that we want, but also the size of our mountain bikes. So our first job is to bring our mountain bikes on board to take some measurements and see how we can build around them. After lots of measuring, bringing the bike in, taking the wheel off, measuring the height of the seat, we have got a seat height line. Yay! Yay! <laughs> We've given ourselves an inch just in case. Um, we've given ourselves a measurement for our beams that are actually going to support the bed frame and mattress. Then we've given ourselves a six inch measurement for a mattress and now we know where to put our windows. Yay! Yay. Oh, I can't wait for windows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the windows. So we have to take this beam out in order to put our windows in from... Um, Seattle Lawrence windows. <laughs> I'm using something called a spot weld bit in a drill to drill out these spot welds here. But the idea of a spot weld bit okay. is that it doesn't go through the metal like a drill bit. We've gone and broke all of those welds, but the strengthener is still bonded to this panel. If you try and rip that off there, it is going to bend the panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and cut through the sealant with a knife. That was easy. Okay, so now that seal's broke, we can still very carefully. Just a bit of the we've gone through to bare metal as we drilled out those spot wells. I'm just going to put a coat of zinc rich paint on there. None of this colour you're going to see in the van, because it's all going to be hidden behind trim and material. So we're just marking to the centre point of where our windows are going to go and I'm marking it on blue tape because we might change our minds. If I start marking on the van and change my mind, I might get confused. fitted two pieces of angled aluminium. This has given us the height that we need 
in order to slide our bikes underneath our bed. It was also a good opportunity for us to remove the door slide from the outside of the van in order to do a little bit of repair work. Now these aluminium sections are in place, we're now waiting for another delivery from JKM Automation of some more extruded aluminium to make our cross sections for our bed. Ooh, the hair already! Beats! Oh my god, oh, that's heavy! Screws and bolts! <gasps> dog, you know you got your nose cut off! Dog! 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 dog. dog. Are you help him? Got it. Oh, Got it. Get it. You get it out for me. Come on. 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 <laughs> sit, sit, stay. Good boy, stay. Good boy, stay. If you're considering raising the bed in the back of your van, these BR section aluminium extrusions from JKN Automation are super strong. This one strip alone, the 40mm by 40mm, is strong enough to support my weight with very little flex. However, in my build, I'm going to be putting another 10 pieces of this going from these cross sections down to the base of my van. Not only for some extra rigidity, but they're going to support my slide out trays, which have my bikes on and also some storage. And hopefully by our next vlog, we will have our sliding trays in, some electrics and our battery bank made out of some more of this. So thank you for watching and we'll catch up with you soon. Bye.